My brother and I are starting this unbelievable journey. 20,000 kilometers, 60 days. Let's get out of Shanghai, baby! It's really not easy riding a motorcycle around China. Watch out for this yellow bar, so always tight! It's the perfect storm! No way we're getting through here. This must be one of the most beautiful places you can take a motorcycle. Here he goes, he's flying! 100 kilometers of feeling really high, and the next 100 kilometers are just feeling really low. This is a 30 kilometer traffic jam. No one has ever ridden around China on a motorbike before. Oh, water bubble. <laughs> this is more than just an epic road trip. This is the adventure of a life. We are riding through a sandstorm. This is the Middle Kingdom ride. I've been living here in China for 10 years. My brother's been in Canada. Uh, he's been working in the finance industry very hard and he just needed a break. I had my own business in the city, in the big city Toronto, and the lifestyle was just killing me. I, I was an entrepreneur and I sold my business and I just had to get out. It's not what I wanted. Did you work in a cubicle? Like a, a box type thing where your whole life is like walled in? People were boxed in emotionally. You can't attempt an epic journey like we did without, you know, knowing that there's going to be a lot of risks and that it's going to be challenging. Totally lost the bike from underneath there. But I just felt like we grew every day. Every day on the trip we got a little bit wiser and uh, became a little bit more respectful about these types of challenges that we set for ourselves. I've never felt so helpless in my life before. All good. All good. Over here. It's opened my eyes to how people live life in China. And it's opened my eyes to, you know, intense poverty and sort of intense happiness as well. Touch a deli. <laughs> it's not just a motorcycle trip. It's not a two brothers trip. It's getting out there and experiencing life and experiencing nature and really enjoying the journey, not just the destination. And I think that's really important in all walks of life. This yeah, is, it was great. This we, is our, our Guinness World Record. I know. Not bad, huh? Colin and I were debating. Yep. And we thought, what would be harder than China? What, what country is more chaotic, has almost as many people, and maybe has even more dangerous roads? And potentially worse toilets. So we are going to try to circumnavigate India next. The roads are potentially worse than China. Worse, yeah, we'll have to be extra. Safe. Worse infrastructure and more cows. If you hit a cow, you'll be lynched. They're sacred, you know. I know. Sacred cows are really quick, though. They get out of the way. They move quick. Did you hear that? I didn't hear that. Apparently. Don't just say crap because the camera's on. <laughs> well, I don't read guidebooks. You're the update boy. I'm the update boy. So yes, we're doing it. <laughs> and, um... <laughs>